Here's my security news roundup for the week ending December 8th, 2023. Meta sued over forcing users to pay to stop tracking. Meta is required to get users' consent in Europe in order to show them targeted ads. For this reason, Meta has to provide European users with a way to opt out of behavioral advertising or face fines totaling 100000 a day. Meta's solution was to charge users for an ad-free experience. The choice for European users was keep using Facebook for free or pay to enjoy the platform without personalized ads. In order to enjoy your fundamental rights under EU law, Meta is essentially now proposing that users pay up to $275 per year. Read the whole story at malwarebytes.com. Track phone to pay $23.5 million to settle FCC investigation. A Verizon unit has agreed to pay nearly $20 million in penalties to settle an investigation into allegations that it may have violated two federal connectivity programs, one aimed at low-income customers and one that lowered costs during the pandemic. Verizon disclosed the potential program violations after it acquired TrackPhone in 2021. The Federal Communications Commission announced Wednesday, resulting in a $23.5 million settlement, including $17.5 million in fines for certain instances related to the low-income Lifeline Subsidy Program and the Emergency Broadband Benefit Program. Read more at EmergingTechBrew.com. Strengthening the Gmail Spam Classifier with RITVEC Systems such as Gmail, YouTube, and Google Play rely on text classification models to identify harmful content, including phishing attacks, inappropriate comments, and scams. These types of texts are harder for machine learning models to classify because bad actors rely on adversarial text manipulations to actively attempt to evade the classifiers. For example, they will use homoglyphs, invisible characters, and keyword stuffing to bypass defenses. To help make text classifiers more robust and efficient, we've developed a novel multilingual text vectorizer called RETVEC resilient and efficient text vectorizer that helps models achieve state-of-the-art classification performance and drastically reduces computational costs. Today, we're sharing how RETVEC has been used to help protect Gmail inboxes. Read more at security.googleblog.com. Governments are reportedly spying on you through push notifications. In a letter to the Department of Justice, Senator Ron Wyden raised concerns about governments potentially intercepting or otherwise gaining access to push notifications delivered to users' phones. The governments that are implicated in this practice are not laid out in the letter, but the senator said that foreign officials were requesting push notification data from Apple and Google. In a statement to Reuters, Apple said that in this case, the federal government prohibited us from sharing any information, going on to add that now that this method has become public, we are updating our transparency reporting to detail these kinds of requests. Your government is probably not looking daily at the notifications going into your phone, but... If they have a reason to, they might do it. Read more at howtogeek.com. Mac users beware. New Trojan proxy malware spreading via pirated software. Unauthorized websites distributing Trojanized versions of cracked software have been found to infect Apple Mac OS users with a new Trojan proxy malware. Attackers can use this type of malware to gain money 
by building a proxy server network or to perform criminal acts on behalf of the victim, to launch attacks on websites, companies, and individuals, buy guns, drugs, and other illicit goods. Kaspersky security researcher Sergei Puzan said, the Mac OS variants propagate under the guise of legitimate multimedia, image editing, data recovery, and productivity tools. This suggests that users searching for pirated software are the target of the campaign. Read more at thehackernews.com. New 5G modem flaws affect iOS devices and Android models from major brands. A collection of security flaws in the firmware implementation of 5G mobile network modems from major chipset vendors such as MediaTek and Qualcomm impact USB and IoT modems as well as hundreds of smartphone models running Android and iOS. Of the 14 flaws, collectively called 5GUL, a combination of 5G and GUL, 10 affect 5G modems from the two companies, out of which three have been classified as high-severity vulnerabilities. Read more at thehackernews.com. Google's Gemini, Grok, Grows Premium and more at the top of AI News of the Week. There were a few AI product launches this week. Google released Gemini, its newest AI platform, while Grok, Elon Musk's annoying chatbot, rolled out to X premium users. Obviously, Gizmodo.com isn't a Musk fan. Apple, meanwhile, tried to keep up by releasing an open source machine learning framework. Not quite as exciting. That said, the AI industry continues to be the most tumultuous and exciting era of tech, and this week provided more than a few examples. Read more at gizmodo.com. This week's must see on my YouTube channel The Continuing Hands On Exploration of Microsoft's Copilot. This is the second and final part of exploring the balanced mode of Copilot. Next, we'll explore the creative mode. Please watch my video on that topic at the link listed. Did you know? The inventor of the World Wide Web is Sir Tim Berners-Lee, a British computer scientist. He designed and implemented the first web browser in 1989. While working at CERN, his invention has revolutionized the way we communicate and access information. And you will find the original website at the link listed. Success is no accident. It is hard work, perseverance, learning, studying, sacrifice, and most of all, love of what you are doing. Thanks to Pele. And that's a wrap for this week's Security News Roundup. Stay safe, stay secure, and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, and thanks for watching and listening.